Welcome to the next level in home entertainment. We'd like to congratulate you on becoming an Adelphia Digital Cable customer. Now you can experience the digital difference right in the comfort of your own living room. You've probably already heard about Digital Cable's sharp picture and crystal clear sound. Well, that's just the beginning. Adelphia Digital Cable expands your viewing choices. Receive more screens of your favorite premium services. HBO and Showtime subscribers can get more great movies, exclusive specials, and award-winning original programs. Cinemax and the Movie Channel subscribers even more movies than ever before. Now you have a better chance of catching your favorite movies when you want to watch them. Looking for today's hottest hits? With Enhanced Adelphia in demand, receive up to 30 channels with more titles and more viewing times to choose from. Plus, ordering hit movies is just a phone call away. Not only does digital cable give you more programming choices, it makes it easy to find the shows you want with an easy to use interactive program guide. And digital cable keeps your feet a tapping with up to 45 channels of digital audio from music choice, from classical to rock, to country to jazz. Digital cable has the sounds you want to hear. So sit back, relax, and get ready to enter the amazing world of Adelphia Digital Cable. Since you just activated your service, there's a few things to keep in mind about your digital receiver. When your digital receiver is first installed, it will load the programming listings information. Within a few minutes, you will have all the programming information needed to fully operate the interactive guide. Your digital receiver requires a constant power supply, so make sure it's not connected to an outlet controlled by a light switch or any other fixture where it can be turned off easily. If the power is cut off for any reason, the data will be lost. But don't worry, the programming information will automatically reload once the power returns. Now that we've got things set up, let's start exploring Adelphia Digital Cable by first looking at the digital remote control. It's a universal remote control that can be programmed to operate your television, VCR, and your digital receiver. In addition to the normal features that you probably had on your old remote, this one has quite a few new buttons on it. We'll be looking at each of these and when to use them as this preview goes on. The first thing you do when using your digital cable service is to turn the TV set on. To do this, just press the TV power button. Next, press the cable power button to activate the digital receiver. There's also a button to turn on your VCR. Press this if so desired. To change the channel, simply press the channel up or down button. You can also change the channel by entering the three-digit channel number, like 002, or by pressing the number desired, 2, and then the select button. The channel banner automatically appears each time you change the channel. It disappears after a few seconds. You can also get rid of the channel banner by pressing the exit button. The channel banner allows you to browse the programming information for other channels without missing a second of the show you're currently watching. By pushing the up or down arrow buttons, you can see the listings of what other channels have to offer right now. If you want to see what's on later, use the right arrow key, and you can search by half-hour intervals. When you see something that you like, press the select button. You'll be tuned to that channel. Your digital cable service also provides you several ways to find programming information through the interactive program guide. Press the guide button on the remote. A listings menu will appear where the programs are organized by their start time. To see listings for future time periods, use the right arrow button. To quickly see the next page of listings, use the page up button. Press the up and down arrows to highlight a program. If you see something you like, press select and you'll tune right to that program. If the program you want isn't on yet, you'll see a future program options menu which will allow you to tune directly to the channel, set a reminder which will automatically appear a few minutes before the start of the program, or set a VCR timer which will automatically tune your receiver to that program at the determined start time. And if you're interested in what's on tomorrow, press the B button. Use the up and down arrow buttons to highlight the date you would like to view and press the select button. 
Your interactive guide also allows you to browse by theme. To do so, press the guide button on your remote control and programming listings will appear in the by time view. Press the A button on the remote control. Use the up and down arrow buttons to highlight theme. Then press select. The programming listings now appear in the by theme view. Press the left arrow button to access the list of themes and using your up and down arrow buttons, highlight the theme you're interested in, like drama, and press the right arrow button to move the cursor back to the list of programs for that theme. If you see something you like, highlight the program by using the up and down arrow buttons. Press the info key on the remote and you'll see a detailed description of that program. To tune to the program, just press the select button. If the program is currently on, you will tune right to it. If the program is on later, you'll see the future program options menu. If you're looking for a particular program, you can search by title, too. Let's say we wanted to find the program Bear in the Big Blue House. Press the guide button on your remote control, and the programming listings will appear in the by time view. Now press the A button, using the up and down arrows highlight title, and press select. The programming listings now appear in the title view. You can use the up and down arrows to scroll all the listings. For a faster search, press the left arrow to access the letters list. Here the up and down arrow buttons allow you to scroll through the alphabet. Once you select the letter your program begins with, use the right arrow to move the cursor back to the list of programs and scroll down until you find Bear in the Big Blue House. Once again, you'll tune directly into the program if it's currently on. If it's airing later, the Future Programs Options menu will appear. The Interactive Program Guide also gives you access to the schedules for all the Adelphia in-demand movies and special events. Now with Adelphia Digital Cable, you get up to 30 channels of in-demand movies, plus these movies start every half hour, so you can watch what you want to watch when you want to watch it. To order an Adelphia in-demand movie or special event, press the guide button on the remote and the listings will appear in the by time view. Press the up and down and the left and right arrow buttons to move through the channel numbers and time periods to highlight your selection. Ordering an in-demand movie or special event is just a phone call away. Music lovers will want to check out up to 45 digital audio channels from Music Choice, which are included as part of your digital cable service. Music Choice channels are listed in the guide exactly like regular channels. You'll notice up to 45 different channels of CD quality music from which to choose. Each channel features a different music genre, and there are no announcers and no commercials. Whether you're sitting down to dinner with family, entertaining guests, or relaxing alone with a good book, Music Choice gives you a huge selection of music to enjoy. The Interactive Program Guide also has a few other services designed for you, our customer. The Favorites function allows you to browse through only the channels you've set up as your favorites. To program your favorite channels, press the Settings button on your remote control twice. The General Settings screen appears. Press the up and down arrows to find viewer favorites. Press the select button to view the current list of favorite channels. Press the up or down buttons to highlight each channel on the left. Press select to add or remove a highlighted channel. Your favorites list appears on the right. A blue ribbon will appear on the channel banner for favorite channels. To watch or surf through your favorite channels only, Press the Fave button, and you'll be able to easily switch between your favorite channels. Next, let's access the Parental Control function, which allows parents to block out the shows they feel are inappropriate for their children. The Parental Control function enforces the blocks which are set up from the General Settings screen. This function gives you three ways to block out programming. By channel, rating, and time. To set blocks, press the Settings button on your remote control twice. The General Settings screen appears. Press the up and down arrows to find and highlight block channels to block specific channels, block ratings to block by rating, and block time to block specific time periods. Let's go ahead and block by channel. 
highlight blocked channels and press select. Now use the up and down arrows to scroll through the channels. Highlight the channels you wish to block and press select. These blocks work only when you enable the parental control function. To turn the parental control function on, press the settings button once to enter quick settings. Use the up and down arrow buttons to highlight enable parental control and press the select button. The pin entry screen will appear. Enter your four digit parental control pin number and all blocks are now enabled. You can view blocked programs while parental control is activated by entering your personal identification number. To disable all the blocks, go back into the quick settings and select disable parental control. Finally, the interactive guide allows you to customize several features of your digital cable service. Quick settings is a convenient way to access frequently used features such as favorites, parental control enable or disable, and the sleep timer. To enter the quick settings menu, press the settings button once. The general settings screen allows you to set up certain features in the interactive guide to customize your viewing. To enter the general settings menu, press the settings button twice. If you are already in the guide, press the settings button once. Digital Cable Service. It's just one of the many ways Adelphia serves your entertainment and communications needs. Adelphia also offers PowerLink, Adelphia's high-speed internet access service, PageTime, Adelphia's affordable personal paging service, and Adelphia Long Distance Service, offering long distance rates as low as seven cents a minute. To learn more about these great new services, please call our toll-free number, 877-772-2533. We hope this introduction has helped you discover the great new features your digital cable service has to offer. And remember, if you have any questions, you can refer to your digital user's guide or feel free to give us a call. One of our customer service representatives will be glad to help. Look to us as your source for the best value in entertainment and communications the whole family can enjoy. Thank you for being an Adelphia customer and enjoy the difference digital cable makes. Adelphia, your link for everything. Okay, get ready now. You're about to learn how to hook up your Adelphia digital cable. We'll show you the ins and outs of connecting your equipment. From hooking up your box to a non-stereo television to adding on a home theater system. By the time you're finished, you'll be operating your digital cable system as if you invented it yourself. So stick around because things are about to get interesting. Welcome to the world of Adelphia Digital Cable. You're just minutes away from enjoying the best in cable entertainment. Of course, you'll have to hook it up first, but don't worry. This video will help make the installation as painless as possible, and you won't need any tools either. It's a good idea to read through the self-install booklet and watch this video before you begin to hook up your digital receiver. The video will refer to certain pages of the booklet, so you can familiarize yourself with the booklet as you watch. Ready? Let's get started. Let's start with the easy stuff. Step one, plug your digital receiver into a wall outlet. It's important to make sure the outlet is not controlled by a wall switch. This is important because your interactive program guide updates itself every night, and it won't update if the power is turned off at a wall switch. Also, before you start, make sure the coaxial cable running from your wall is firmly screwed into the input on your digital receiver labeled Cable In. Refer to page 6 in your guide for other important installation tips. Okay, we have some juice going, so let's hook up some cable. There are many different configurations, but don't worry, you'll only be interested in one of them. You may fast forward through the tape at any time to find the section highlighting your installation. This handy color-coded table of contents lists the different installations in the order they appear on the tape. Simply look for the letter and color of your installation on the bottom of the screen as you're fast-forwarding. The grid on page 7 lists the various devices and the corresponding pages that diagram the installation processes. If you have a monaural or non-stereo television, hooking up the receiver is very simple. Simply connect a second coaxial cable from the receiver, where it's marked Cable Out, and connect the other end to the cable-slash-antenna input on your television. 
for a non-stereo TV, you're done. If you have a stereo television, you'll need a set of video stereo audio cables. These are the same kind of cables that you'd find running from your stereo VCR to your stereo TV. The video cable should run from the output marked video on the receiver to the video input on the television. The left and right audio cables will run from their respective audio outputs on the receiver to their corresponding audio inputs on the television. That's it. To connect a non-stereo TV and a non-stereo VCR, you'll need two coaxial cables. First, run a coaxial cable from the output on the digital receiver labeled Cable Out to the in from antenna input on the back of the VCR. Run the other coaxial cable from the VCR's out to TV output to the TV's cable slash antenna input. To connect a non-stereo TV and a stereo VCR, you'll need two coaxial cables. Run a coaxial cable from the output on the digital receiver labeled Cable Out to the in from antenna input on the back of the VCR. Run the other coaxial cable from the out to TV output on the back of the VCR to the cable slash antenna input on the back of the TV. It's important to note that this setup provides non-stereo sound only. To fully enjoy the stereo capabilities of your VCR, you must add a stereo device that can run left and right speakers for true stereo sound. To connect a stereo TV and a non-stereo VCR, you'll need a set of video stereo audio cables and two coaxial cables. Run a coaxial cable from the output on the digital receiver labeled Cable Out to the in from antenna input on the back of the VCR. Run the other coaxial cable from the VCR's out to TV output to the TV's cable slash antenna input. The left and right audio cables will connect from their respective audio outputs on the digital receiver to their corresponding audio inputs on the back of the television. The video cable will connect much the same way, running from the video output on the receiver to the video input on the television. You'll need two sets of video stereo audio cables when connecting a stereo television to a stereo VCR. Start by connecting a set of cables from the left and right audio outputs on the digital receiver to their corresponding inputs on the back of the VCR. Run one cable from the video output on the receiver to the video input on the back of the VCR. Run another cable from the video output on the VCR to the video in on the back of the TV. Run the other set of cables from left and right audio outputs on the VCR to their corresponding inputs on the back of the television. Connecting a stereo TV with an S-Video input requires an S-Video cable and a stereo audio cable. Run the S-Video cable from the S-Video output on the digital receiver to the S-Video input on the back of the stereo TV. Then simply connect the left and right audio cables from their outputs on the receiver to their corresponding audio inputs on the back of the television. To connect a stereo TV and stereo VCR with S-Video inputs, You'll need two S-Video cables and two stereo audio cables. Begin by connecting an S-Video cable from the S-Video output on the digital receiver to the S-Video input on the VCR. Run the second S-Video cable from the VCR's S-Video output to the S-Video input on the back of the TV. 
Connect a set of right and left audio cables from the audio outputs on the receiver to the audio inputs on the back of the VCR. Run the second set from the VCR's audio outputs to the audio inputs on the TV. To connect a non-stereo TV, a non-stereo VCR, and a stereo receiver or amplifier, you'll need two coaxial cables and a stereo audio cable. First, run a coaxial cable from the output on the digital receiver labeled Cable Out to the in from antenna input on the back of the VCR. Run the other coaxial cable from the VCR's out to TV output to the TV's cable slash antenna input. Run a stereo audio cable from the left and right audio outputs on the digital receiver to the left and right audio inputs on the stereo receiver or amplifier. You'll need two sets of video stereo audio cables and a simple stereo audio cable when connecting a stereo television, a stereo VCR, and a stereo receiver or amplifier. Start by connecting a set of cables from the left and right audio outputs on the digital receiver to their corresponding inputs on the back of the VCR. Connect a single cable from the video out on the receiver to the video in on the back of the VCR. Connect a single cable from video out on the back of the VCR to video in on the back of the TV. Then connect a set of cables from the audio out left and right on the back of the VCR to audio in left and right on the back of the TV. Run a stereo audio cable from the audio output on the back of the television to the audio input on the stereo receiver or amplifier. Connecting a stereo TV, stereo VCR, and a home theater receiver is probably the most involved installation process you'll encounter. You may want to refer to page 20 of your installation manual for additional assistance. You'll need four sets of video stereo audio cables, one digital audio coaxial cable, and two standard coaxial cables. Begin by running one of the standard coaxial cables from the output on the digital receiver labeled Cable Out to the RF In port on the back of the stereo VCR. Run the second standard coaxial from the VCR's RF Out port to the cable slash antenna input on the back of the stereo television. Connect the digital audio coaxial cable from the output on the digital receiver labeled Digital Audio Out to the Digital Audio In 1 input on the back of the home theater receiver. Next, run a set of video stereo audio cables from the digital receiver to the home theater receiver by connecting the left and right audio cables from the digital receiver's audio outputs to the home theater receiver's audio in one inputs. The video cable will run from the video output on the digital receiver to the home theater receiver's video in one input. Connect one set of video stereo audio cables from the audio out left and right on the back of the VCR to the audio from VCR ports on the back of the home theater receiver. Connect a single video audio cable from the video out on the back of the VCR to the video from VCR port on the back of the home theater receiver. Connect the third set of video audio cables from the home theater receiver's record video out and left and right record audio out ports to the VCR's video in and left and right audio in ports. Finally, connect the fourth set of video stereo audio cables from your TV to the home theater. To do this, connect the left and right audio cables from the TV's audio outputs 
to the home theater receiver's audio in two inputs. Run the video cable from the home theater receiver's monitor slash TV out port to the video input on the back of the TV. Congratulations, your installation should be complete. Oh, except one more thing, very important. Now you need to sit back, relax, and enjoy all of the great features Adelphia Digital Cable has to offer. If your installation didn't go too smoothly, please refer to the installation manual for additional support and information. If you continue to encounter problems, call the customer service center at 1-877-772-2533. Adelphia's customer service representatives will do their best to correct problems quickly and efficiently. So what are you waiting for? Tune into some real entertainment with Adelphia Digital Cable. Adelphia, your link for everything.